The Ivla Medal is awarded to Guy Bertion. Guy is recognized for his achievements for national libraries and his influence in advocating for partnerships with the broader documentary heritage community. Guy served as chair of IFLA's National Libraries section from 2015 to 2019 and created closer ties with CDNL, the Conference of Directors of National Libraries. He was instrumental in implementing IFLA's Digital Unification Working Group whose work culminated in the EFLA guidelines for setting up a digital unification project. As the world grapples with documentary cultural heritage that can be scattered across continents, these guidelines provide starting points for libraries wanting to collaborate on digitally documenting their combined collections as a cohesive set of resources. He was also instrumental in the Francophone Digital Network, which brings together 27 Francophone libraries and archives across all regions of the world. Ifla has benefited significantly from his energy, expertise, and engagement. I ask Guy to say a few words. Hi, I'm Guy Bertion, librarian and archivist of Canada Emeritus. Dear colleagues, chers collègues, First, I want to thank the IFLA Governing Board for bestowing this honor on me. I also want to express my gratitude to the Canadian colleagues who nominated me, my friends Leslie Weir, Victoria Owen, and Catherine McColgan. This recognition by IFLA is even more meaningful to me because it comes from an organization for which I have the greatest respect and admiration. One of the first things I did after being appointed President and CEO of the National Library and Archives of Quebec was to attend the IFLA Congress, which took place in Milan in August of 2009. And the very last thing I did as Librarian and Archivist of Canada, 10 years later, was to participate in the Athens Congress in August 2019. Between these two moments in space and time, there are 10 years of passion for national libraries, for their roles, their influence, and their future. In work, as in love, one gets as much out of something as one invests in it. That's why I wanted to be involved in the National Library section. Therefore, in 2015, I proposed to my colleague Geneviève Clavel of the Swiss National Library that she run for the position of chair and that I would put my name forward for the position of secretary of the section. Geneviève told me it should be the opposite, namely because the secretary does all the heavy lifting. So I let myself be convinced by such an impressive argument and I ran for the position of chair. And all kidding aside, Geneviève was totally right. All those who have participated in the work of the standing committee know that it is she who has done most of the work during the four years we have devoted to it. I want to take this occasion to salute and thank Geneviève for her tireless contribution. During our mandate, Geneviève and I were especially keen to create linkages between our standing committee and CDNL, the Conference of Directors of National Libraries. Let me thank the chairs of CDNL, my friend and mentor, Kai Eckholm, and Lily Knibbler of the National Library of the Netherlands for facilitating this close collaboration. One of the most important responsibilities entrusted to me during the past years was the role of chair of the G Digital Unification Working Group. Digital unification is a very sensitive subject and it's for that reason that I'm so proud that our guidelines for setting up a digital unification project were approved by the EFLA governing board last year. Most of the work of the working group was carried out by Isabel Nifniger of the BNF with the collaboration of Christian Jensen of the British Library. I thank them both very warmly, as well as Stephen Weiber, who was the linchpin of our working group. Working in the library and archives community over the last decade, at a time when these institutions were flourishing like never before because of the digital revolution was a unique opportunity. And for this unique opportunity to be accompanied by honors as prestigious as the one I'm receiving today far exceeds my wildest dreams. 
So therefore, today, I can say, quoting French author Albert Camus, one must imagine Sisyphus happy. Thank you. Merci. Guy, congratulations on this well-deserved honour. You have helped immensely in strengthening and fostering IFLA's partnership with National Libraries, and for that, we thank you.